Take the crayons out of the table is to line up the holes on the tray with the holes in our table, just like this. When I count to three, let's all shout happy birthday to the newborns. Ready? Come on, everybody. One, One two, two, three. three. Happy birthday. Now each hole has a brand new crayon. And look, they're already sharp. That's a great observation, Scarlett. The sharpened tip on a Crayola crayon is actually made that way during the molding process. And I'll bring this down here if you want a little better look. Can you see him poking out there? It's a lot of red crayons, isn't it? Now this tray is kind of heavy, so I am going to set it down. But then I can also get ready to refill our molding table. Anything left behind in the table we call a strayola. number on the wall just went up. Oh, that number there is actually the total number of crayons manufactured by Crayola since 1903. It looks like my friends back at the factory are hard at work, which means that I better get busy refilling our molding table. Um, I don't mean to be yellow, but that oh, looks steamier <laughs> than hot magenta. To make a Crayola crayon, they have to heat the wax all the way up to around 200 degrees. Mango Tango! That is hot! And once I pour the wax, I just have to scrape on top of the table to make sure that all the holes get completely filled. Then ice cold water inside the machine moves all around to help cool and harden the wax. Blizzard Blue! Our newborns aren't dressed yet. They're probably freezing after getting that ice water poured on them. Let's go check on them. They're doing fine, you two. But they're not quite ready for their labels just yet. First, we have to take them out of the tray. Ooh, what's this part called? <laughs> I think they call it dumping out the crayons. Then each new Crayola crayon is inspected by a real person just like me. We take out any crayons that aren't quite ready yet, and then we get to do some coloring. You do? Of course. We have to make sure that the crayons don't just look perfect. We have to make sure that they're super strong and incredibly colorful. Plus, we want to make sure that they don't flake. Because no one likes a flaky crayon. Exactly. So I'll just take these few. What happens to those poor little guys? Don't be blue, Turk. They get to go back into the wax and try again. Now are the crayons ready to get dressed? Yep, the rest of our crayons passed with flying colors. And they're sitting right here in this hopper. And this stacker holds all their labels. Now did you know that